from rusted, decaying ships that look like they're about to collapse in the water at any moment to the Great Carrier Reef, here are 13 creepiest abandoned ships. Number 13, Costa Concordia. When we mention how cruise ships can be a bad option for escaping the zombie apocalypse, you can begin to take a look at the Costa Concordia and see what we're talking about. This luxury ship had a total of four swimming pools and 1,500 cabins. While people were preparing for a beautiful seven-day cruise from Chita Vecchia, Rome's closest port, it hit a rock near Isola de Giglio. This massive Italian cruise ship was left with a giant gash. This ship wrecked off the coast of Italy in 2012 and capsized just a few moments after making contact. There was unfortunately no possible way to save the ship from complete doom and they were forced to abandon ship. Almost half of this massive vessel was left underwater and a year and a half later, they finally decided to scrap it for parts. Number 12, Rusty National Defense Ghost Yard. So what does the United States do with its fleets after the Vietnam War? Well, for now, they're just letting them sit in the ocean in case they need them at some point in the future. These ghost ships in this photo are located at Susan Bay in California, but the National Defense Reserve Fleet also has locations in Texas and Virginia. In 1959, the Susan Bay contained an estimated 324 ships, but that number went down to 250 50 after they began to realize it probably wasn't the best idea to let old ships sit there forever. Also referred to as the mothball fleet, these ships are beginning to completely fall apart and pollute the waters with hazardous chemicals and heavy paints. In June of 2007, they had estimated that roughly 21 tons of toxic paint material eroded and settled into the bay. It's hard to imagine them actually putting these to use during a time of war. Number 11, the sunken yacht. The ocean certainly doesn't care if you're trying to get to Antarctica on your yacht. Fierce ocean storms have been known to decimate sailing ships on the frigid waters of the Southern Hemisphere. A rich Brazilian man had the courage to take his yacht to this mysterious continent in order to make a documentary. But as you can see here in this photo, he epically failed. He might have made a cool documentary about his yacht sinking, however, but it certainly cost him more than he was hoping. Luckily, him and his crew survived the whole ordeal. Number 10, RMS Queen Elizabeth. A once mighty vessel known as the Queen Elizabeth provided luxury transportation from Southampton to New York City for passengers and also postal service for about 20 years. Finally, in 1969, it was sold to an American businessman who wanted to use it as a tourist attraction in Port Everglades, Florida, sort of in a similar fashion to the Queen Mary in Long Beach. The humid climate of Florida made this plan difficult and it was sold to the Chinese who wanted to make it into a floating university and rightfully renamed it as CY's University. Finally, in 1972, the ship caught on fire and the whole thing was engulfed into flames. Many were quite suspicious exactly what started the fire and many believe it could have been arson. Much of the ship was still visible until the 1990s until it was completely disposed of. Number 9, The World Discoverer. The MS World Discoverer is a massive abandoned cruise ship that's been floating in the waters of the Solomon Islands since the year 2000. It was once a sea vessel that traveled the world, but then came into contact with a reef. Everybody who was on board was safely evacuated, so the history behind this isn't too bad. For years now, it's just been left to slowly fade away into the waters, and its presence is that more of a strange and random reputation, if anything. It's become a tourist attraction for locals who want to discover the discoverer. You can also check it out from the comfort of your own couch by looking it up on Google Maps. But judging by where it's located, it doesn't seem too easy to access in real life. Number 8. Cabo de Santa Maria Located off the coast of the little island in the middle of the Atlantic known as Boa Vista, you'll come across the decaying remains of the Cabo de Santa Maria. It was heading towards Argentina and Brazil with a variety of gifts from the Spanish dictator Francisco Franco. Then it made an unexpected collision. Many attempts to save the ship along with its valuable cargo of sports cars, food, medicine, and other items failed, but the crew was able to make out alive. The tiny little island feels some pride in this abandoned ship, and there has really been no attempt to salvage it. Despite its rusty and dull appearance, it's still been a popular site to visit for artists and beachgoers to this day. Number 7. Duke of Lancaster 
the Duke of Lancaster was a British passenger ship that was operational between 1956 to 1979 and is currently beached in Northeast Wales. This was one of the last British steamships to ever take the seas and commonly traveled to places like Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, and Spain. With advancements in the 1980s, there were cheaper options for cruise ships and this massive vessel just became a little too expensive to maintain. During its final days, it served as a ferry vessel that would transport cars and a maximum of 1,800 passengers. Despite some of its paintwork beginning to rust, the Duke of Lancaster is still in decent condition and there are some discussions about turning it into a one-of-a-kind art gallery. There is a noticeable amount of graffiti on the ship now that it's abandoned and it seems to slowly be becoming a giant piece of art. Number 6. RLC Abandoned Ships Abandoned ships left over in the middle of a dry lake bed certainly seems a little bit unsettling, but this is a reality from the RLC which rapidly dried up in recent years. The shrinking of the RLC is known as one of the worst environmental disasters ever. Satellite images released by NASA are extremely shocking, and the entire lake was once the fourth largest in the world. One of the most notable things that's left over from this environmental disaster would be all the rusted abandoned ships littering the dry lake bed. The water level decreased so quickly that no one could do anything about their fishing boats, and they just left them there. Soviet engineers wanted to begin diverting the water in order to build cotton plantations. The RLC lost a huge amount of water due to evaporation that will never be replaced. This has negatively affected the nearby countries like Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, limiting their fresh water source. Number 5. The Salem Express Shipwreck one of the creepiest underwater abandoned ships out there is the Salem Express ship. This huge vessel sank to the bottom of the Red Sea in 1991. It was carrying hundreds of Egyptian pilgrims to Mecca, and the wreck has been left in hauntingly good condition which has made it a Mecca for scuba divers with a morbid curiosity. Most of the ship is currently covered in coral as you can see in this photo. Many claim a gust of wind sent her into a coral reef, sending her to her final destination under the Red Sea at midnight. Who says underwater places can't be haunted? There is still much controversy surrounding this crash, especially for the divers who want to check it out. This shallow grave is only 39 feet underwater, but the more darker parts reach 108 feet below the surface. Number 4. The SS America The SS America was built in 1940 and finally wrecked 57 years later off the coast of the Canary Islands. She served during World War II as a troop transport vessel and even transported German and Italian citizens back to their home country. It could hold a total of 750 people and was even equipped with anti-aircraft weapons, naval guns, and machine guns. It has quite the long history and has made it to places all around the world including India, France, Singapore, and all over North America. After World War II, it served as a cruise ship, but its conditions began to deteriorate in the 1990s. After leaving Greece and heading west in 1994, Three, a storm in the Atlantic proved to be too much for the old ship to handle and it began to sink off the coast of the Canary Islands. For over a decade, the wreck was visible above water until the entire hull broke, causing it to fall into the sea. Number 3. Mediterranean Sky the original name of this massive vessel was the City of York after it was built in 1952 in Newcastle, England. It was sold in 1971 when it changed names to the Mediterranean Sky since it was turned into a cruise vessel that sailed the Mediterranean Sea. The new company that bought the ship enjoyed it for many years until they began to go broke in 1996. It was too expensive to maintain and eventually she capsized in 2003 at the Ellipsis Bay in Greece. It's believed the owners couldn't find a potential buyer, and they could have been attempting some kind of insurance scam by sinking it. There isn't a ton of information documented on this abandoned ship, but it's still in clear view on Google Maps, and appears to be becoming a tourist attraction for those who are able to reach it. Number 2. The USS Oriskany one of the first aircraft carriers of its kind, this ship was named after a famous battle during the Revolutionary War and is designed with a long hull. It was finally commissioned in 1950 and served in two conflicts, including the ones in Korea and Vietnam. In 1966, it broke out into flames after a magnesium flare was ignited, and then finally it was decommissioned in 1976. It was sold for scraps in 1995, but repossessed in 1997 when the owner wasn't doing anything with it. Researchers came up with a plan to actually 
actually sink this carrier with C4 explosives and have transformed it into an artificial reef off the Gulf of Mexico near Florida. It was carefully demolished in order to keep it intact and so it wouldn't let toxic chemicals into the water. The ship is currently under about 145 feet of water and it shifted 10 feet deeper after a hurricane hit the area. It's currently the largest ship that's ever been turned into an artificial reef and occasionally visited by scuba divers. It's now been dubbed as the Great Carrier Reef as a colloquial term. And number one, the HMAS Karangi. There's tens of thousands of shipwrecks out there, and Google Maps is a safe way to explore them. The HMAS Karangi, located in Australia, was operated by the Royal Australian Navy and was launched in 1941. The vessel participated in atomic testing after World War II at the Monte Bello Islands, so it's possible that it's still radioactive. It was left abandoned in 1970, and it still sits there, just completely wrecked. 